Good morning. I would like to welcome parents and friends of the college community who are watching online, along with staff and students to the 2020 Combined College Value Awards and Presentation Ceremony. Students, staff and special guests and friends of Patterson River Secondary College, I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land, the Bunurong people, and pay our respects to the elders both past, present and, the and future of the Kulin Nation. For they hold the memories, the traditions, the culture and hopes of Aboriginal Australia. Could you now all please stand for the national anthem? Today's ceremony is to celebrate the achievements of our students in relation to our four core values at the college. Persistence, excellence, community and respect. Students have been nominated for these awards by their classroom teachers and also through their commitment to extracurricular activities beyond the classroom. We will also be recognising our subject ducks and overall student ducks today along with some other special awards. It is important that we as a college recognise the efforts of many students from semester two in front of our school community. I would now like to welcome our college principal, Mr. Daniel Dew, to the stage. Thank you, Ali and Claire. And good morning to all of our students who are here today uh, and our staff who are in attendance here in the Performing Arts Centre also. Uh, I'd also like to welcome our parents, carers and friends of the college who are joining us live online for the very first time. Uh, in the college's history. Uh, today we take the time to celebrate the efforts of students over the course of the second semester. And although the rest of this assembly will be about the students and their achievements, before I uh, explain and go into those awards, I'd just like to also extend uh, a thank you and a congratulations to our teachers, support staff, parents, carers, grandparents and others who have supported students throughout uh, this year to make sure that we were able to continue high quality learning throughout the pandemic. A semester that took us on a wild ride of unprecedented changes and restrictions to our everyday life um, and a year in which we have truly been able to achieve excellence together despite all of the challenges. These awards today recognise students in each of the co uh, four college values, persistence, excellence, community and respect. And given the restrictions faced this year, our community, uh, at least in its normal way, uh, our normal sort of community engagement that we have as a college uh, has been reduced uh, compared to normal. Funnily enough though, community was probably more important than ever uh, as we found unique and novel ways to stay connected. Our other values of persistence, excellence and respect were as front and centre as ever in our everyday schooling, regardless of whether that was when we were working remotely or back here on site together. It has been interesting to see the different ways that students and staff for that matter have responded to working uh, in different ways this year. It's meant that we have seen different students appear in our awards program who've responded well to remote learning and then those that have responded well when we've been back on site. And over the course of the last week, signing all of the certificates across the school, I, I took a lot of sort of pride and reflection on seeing different names pop up in different areas as students have learnt lots about themselves uh, and about how they've responded to the challenges from this year. And I'm sure that they are lessons that you'll be able to take into your future studies, both uh, within the VCE and VCAL here at school, but then also uh, beyond school and into general life as well. These values today have represent a wide range of competencies, each of which are essential to leading a successful life. 
one that is happy, healthy and fulfilled. Excluding community, each of the awards today uh, have been given to one to two students per class by the classroom teacher and I know uh, and probably more than ever uh, that teachers have wanted to recognise a lot more uh, students than that but we try and keep these awards prestigious and hence just the one to two students per class. The first type of award is persistence. These are awarded to students who not only continually strive to achieve their personal best but hit obstacles and challenges and treat them as learning experiences as they go. This award is about setting goals and bouncing back. The next type of award is an excellence award and these are awarded to students who again not only have continually uh, strived to achieve their personal best but are at the top or near top of the class academically. For many students this is often an area or subject that they find comes easier to them than others. Also often an area that is a passion inside and outside of school and an area that one day may turn into a career path. The third type of award is a respect award. These awards go to students who not only respect themselves and their own learning, but look out and advocate for their classmates. They listen to others and ensure that the learning environment is both collaborative and high performing. As I mentioned earlier, our college values are essential in leading a successful life, a life in which success is not defined through a limited lens such as the car that we drive or the money that we earn, but by our relationships and our ability to contribute meaningfully to society. Never before, at least in my lifetime, and, and certainly then uh, for the students, have we seen this play out en masse in front of our very eyes. As collectively, we have seen the value of things uh, such as essential workers, social bubbles, and job security. Each of these values are just as important as each other, and therefore each of the awards today are just as prestigious as each other. Congratulations to all of the students in advance who are about to receive a College Values Award. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dew. It is an honour to be recognised for the efforts in relation to the college values in semester two. I would now like to ask Ms. Chadwick and Mr. Dew to present the first set of awards. Thank you. Thank you, Claire. First up, we've got the students from 10A who are going to receive their awards. First up, we've got Isabella Baker, who has received a Persistence Award for both Healthy Teens and Humanities. Madison Bowley has received an Excellence Award in Outdoor Education, as well as Persistence for Year 11 Psychology. Next up, we've got Abby Cap, who has received a Persistence Award for both English and Australian Law and Youth. Isabel Galicchio has received Persistence for Year 11 Art. English and Humanities. Next up is Sky McKenna. Sky, Sky has received the Respect Award for Humanities. Catherine Rigapulu has received Persistence in Outdoor Education. Peter Stones has received an Excellence Award in Introduction to Business, Product Design, as well as Respect in English, Math, math and Psychology. India Tadros has received Persistence for Math Foundation, Studio Art Photography, as well as a Respect Award in General Physical Education. Can you please join me in congratulating the class of 10A? Next up, we've got the students from 10B. First, Cameron Blees, who has received an Excellence Award in Instrumental Music. Jenna Herman has received awards for Excellence, Persistence and Respect Today, Excellence in Humanities and Introduction to Business, Persistence for English and Science, as well as Respect for Maths, Psychology and Science. Benjamin Jaynes has received Excellence in Individualised Health, as well as Respect for Ma Maths Foundation. Tiara McDonald today has received persistence for math methods and music craft. Jessica O'Connor has re received respect 
in English. Jackson Seacomb has received a Persistence Award in General PE, Instrumental Music and Music Craft, as well as Respect for Digital Design and Science. Our final student for 10B is Regan Thurlow, has received Excellence for Art, as well as Persistence for Product Design, Wood. Please congratulate the students from 10B. We've now got the students from 10C to re receive their reward, awards. Sorry. Joshua Bowman has received respect for outdoor education. Kyle Boys has received respect for English as well as excellence in Year 11 psychology. Tristan Burley has received persistence in introduction to business as well as respect in math foundation. Emma Dinallen has received persistence in applied English and respect in both individualised health and pubs to teens. Madison Dunn has received a respect award for arts as well as humanities and persistence for both math general and theatre studies. Zach Fairhall has received a persistence award in outdoor education. Leilani Kimba has received an excellence award in music craft as well as respect for both applied English and instrumental music. Lachlan Osborne has received persistence in math general. Talzin Roberts has received a persistence award in art. Max Sass has received excellence in studio arts photography, persistence in theatre, as well as respect in introduction to business. Please congratulate the students from 10C. We now have the students from 10D. First up is Kyle Aha, who has received excellence in applied English and persistence in Maths Foundation. Charlotte Barnes has received persistence for both Introduction to Business as well as Year 11 Biology. Avril Caballero has received excellence in Australian Law and Youth as well as English, persistence in Year 11 Psychology and respect in Music Craft. Seth Furborough has received respect in team sports. Leah Kallick has received persistence in English, psychology and science and respect in general physical education. Abraham Ling has received the persistence award for programming and gaming. Michaela Sinclair has received the persistence award for both humanities and math methods. And Ali Sagaris has received um, the Persistence Award for Australian Law and Youth and Humanities. And finally, we've got Tamsin Weston, who has received excellence for team sports and persistence in English, Math General, as well as Year 11 Health and Human Development. Please congratulate the students from 10D. has definitely been a year to remember. We as students never thought that we would spend so much of our year learning from home. We all had to adapt to a different way of learning very quickly. This was daunting to begin with, however it enabled us to develop self-motivation, time management and independence. We were still able to demonstrate our four college values, especially persistence, whilst we transitioned. Learning online wasn't all bad. It meant that we were able to do parts of our work when it suited us go for walks or bike rides in the middle of the day and have food breaks when it suited us. There may have also been some TV watching and game playing when we would normally have been at school. This year we have begun to choose subjects that will allow us to fulfil our dreams and pathways. Many of us undertook VCE subjects, whilst others began searching for work placements that would help them in their VCAL pathway next year. Many of us started out in the workforce gaining part-time jobs over the year. From working at Woolies to fish and chip shops to Coles, it has been a great way for us to 
gain some independence and start saving for our first cars. We are all excited about seeing what 2021 will bring us. I would now like to ask Mr Hayes and Mr Dew to the stage to present the rest of the College Value Awards. Thank you. Thank you Claire, thank you Ali. I'm going to start with 10E. Adam Anthony, Persistence in Biology and English, Respect in Boys, Football, Sports, Humanities and Product Design and Wood. Kai Barker, Respect in Studio Art Photography. Ali Barnard, Excellence in Australia Law and New and English, Persistence in Legal Studies Year 11 and Science, Respect in Australia Law and New, Legal Studies Year 11, Math Methods and Theatre. Claire Boyle, Excellence in English, Humanities, Health and Human Development Year 11, Maths General, Science and Team Sports. Harrison Carvis, Excellence in English, Math Methods, Music Craft and Science. Aaron Cole, Excellence in Humanities and Programming and Gaming. Isabel Evans, Excellence in Art, Humanities, Psychology Year 11, Persistence in English. Amara Fennessy, Excellence in Biology Year 11, English, Healthy Team, Persistence in Math Methods and Psychology, Respect in Studio Arts Photography. Maisie Griffith, Excellence in Outdoor and Environmental Education Year 11, Persistence in Studio Arts Photography. Nikita Hilbert, Excellence in English, Respect in Humanities and Psycho Psychology Year 11. Piper Isles, Persistence in Bubs to Teens and English. Hayley Johnston, Excellence in English, Math Methods, Science, Persistence in Baker's Toolkits and Humanities. Jakana Lennon, Persistence in Business Management Year 11, General Physical Education, Respect in English, Team Sports and Theatre. Arwen Lloyd, Excellence in Bubs to Teens, Psychology, Persistence in English and Math Methods. Zoe Matson, Respect in Healthy Teens. Reese McKenna, Excellence in Humanities, Maths General, Respect in Physical Education, Year 11. Jonathan Newman, Excellence in Music, Year 11, Maths General, Respect in Physical, uh, Respect in Team Sports. Sam Sheffer, Excellence in Maths General. Casey Smith, Excellence in English, Excel Sport, Maths General and Science, Respect in Introduction to Business and Year 11 Physical Education. Max Weinman, Excellence in Baker's Toolkit, English, Humanities, IT Computing Year 11, Math Methods and Product Design, Wood. Well done, 10 -8. Now I'd like to call up 10F. Ethan Brown, Excellence in Team Sports, Persistence in Boys Football Sports, Digital Design and English. Charlie Bulstrode, Persistence in Humanities. Amy Dufina, Excellence in English, Persistence in Math Methods and Psychology Year 11, Respect in Excel Sport. Hayden Demaziris, Lefevanche, Persistence in Science, Team Sports, Respect in Humanities and Science. Brittany Graham, Excellence in Healthy Teens. George Greenwell, Excellence in Maths General. Ruby Griffiths Hayes, Excellence in Excel Sport, Maths General, Outdoor Education and Studio Art Photography. Joshua Kerno, Excellence in Instrumental Music, Respect in English. Oscar McGuinness, Respect in Applied English. Hayden Skinner, Excellence in Digital Design, Respect in English, Excel Sport and Humanities.
Matty Wicks, Excellence in English, Humanities, Legal Studies Year 11, Math Methods, Persistence in Science, and Respect in Math Methods. Well done, 10F. Ten G, Brooke Barron, Persistence, Art. Kai Chandler, Excellence, Applied English. Friday Davies, Persistence, Maths General, Respect, Australian Law and You. Nadia Jackson, Respect, Maths General. Vivian Lee, Respect, English, Humanities, Music, Craft and Science. Julia Penaluna, Persistence, Healthy Teens. Respect, English and Music Craft. Elijah Petra Civic, Persistence, Science and Team Sports. Respect, English and Product Design and Wood. And Jay Williams, Excellence in Social Science, Persistence in Applied English, Individualized Health and Respect in the Arts. Well done, Tenji. The award winners for 10H, Jet Jung, Persistence in Science, Respect in English and Maths General. Jenna Lowe, Persistence in Product Design, Wood. Roisin Martin, Excellence in Physical Education, Persistence in English and Maths General. Respect in Humanities. Narav Nand, Persistence in Humanities, Respect in Programming and Gaming. And Oliver Smith, Persistence in Team Sport, Respect in Introduction to Business. Well done to the award recipients from 10H. Okay. Back to the leaders. Congratulations to all the students who received the College Values Awards. Our next set of awards are given to one student per subject and represent overall excellence within the subject. We will also be presenting some special awards to students who have excelled in their extracurricular activities. To present these awards along with the overall Year 10 Ducks, please welcome Ms. Jeepool and Mr. Dew to the stage. Thank you, Ali. The following awards have been carefully selected by teachers at Patterson River Secondary College to recognise outstanding academic achievements and overall commitment to learning by students in their studies. It is my great pleasure to award the 2020 Year 10 Subject Ducks to the following students. For Physical Education and General Mathematics, Casey Smith. Outdoor Education, Ruby Griffith Hayes. For Art and Dance, Isabel Evans. For Music, Jonathan Nguyen. For Mathematics Methods, Science, Food Studies and Year 11 Information Technology, Max Weinman. <laughs> For Humanities and Theatre, Ali Barnard. <laughs> For English, Health and Year 11 Legal Studies, Madeline Wicks. For Design Technology, Hayden Skinner. For 
for Information Technology, Aaron Cole. For English, Hayley Johnstone. For Year 11 Biology, Amara Fennessy. And for Year 11 Outdoor and Environmental Studies, Piper Isles. Please once again congratulate the Year 10 Subject Ducks winners. Year 10 is the entry point for senior school and the focus is on preparing for the many experiences and learning challenges that form the basis of VCE and VCAL. Students are expected to take responsibility for their learning and to begin to make decisions about their futures. They need to set academic goals and embrace strong work and study ethic in order to achieve positive results. The student who is receiving this award, the Year 10 Ducks, has had a 100% attendance rate this year and is diligent, conscientious and committed to achieving outstanding results in all subjects. Quiet confidence, attention to detail, motivation and positive responses to feedback ensure a high level of engagement in the classroom for this young person. Respectful conversations, punctuality and exemplary conduct reflect a mature responsibility that has earned the admiration of teachers and peers. The worthy recipient of the Year 10 Ducks for 2020 is Max Weinman. Congratulations, Max. Let's give Max another clap, please. Okay, today we also have some extra awards that will recognise the following students' enthusiasm for the instrumental music program. These students have shown dedication, persistence and overall commitment to their lessons throughout the year. Please congratulate Joshua Kerno and Tiara McDonald. Well done to Josh and Tiara, thank you. Each year, the Seaford RSL offers both primary and secondary colleges in our local community a School Citizens Award. This is to recognise outstanding community service and contribution by one student. It enables us to celebrate the leadership and community values of the RSL that align with the values of our college. Please welcome Claire Boyle to the stage to accept this award for 2020. Well done, Claire. An excellent opportunity for year 10 students wanting to attend university is to apply for the Kwong Lee Dao Young Scholars Program. This provides successful students with many benefits from the University of Melbourne. In 2021, we will have two lucky students representing our college in this prestigious program. This year, as I've said, there are two worthy winners of the award, so congratulations to Maddie Wicks and Hayley Johnston. Well done girls, we know you'll represent our college with pride. <laughs> Despite the year that has been 2020, students in the Sport XL program have still been able to show great commitment to this program. The following student displays all of the college values of persistence, excellence, community and respect. This student is an outstanding role model for the younger students within the program and represents the college with distinction in our community. 
She upholds the values of the Excel Sport Program in leadership, sportsmanship and resilience and displays all-round athletic ability and competitive spirit. Please congratulate Casey Smith. Well done, Casey. Yes, give her another clap. She's worked hard. <laughs> okay, I would now like to ask Mr. Jew to the stage to present his Principal's Commendation Awards. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ms. Jekyll. Uh, Principal's Commendation Awards were uh, a process that we introduced uh, just over two years ago and in fact as many of the students who are in here this morning were involved in the working party of students that uh, reimagined our school values and then worked out an awards program and uh, a number of them have actually been up uh, to get school values awards uh, this morning. What we wanted to achieve uh, through the principal's commendation awards was recognising students not just for their academic achievements within the classroom but for a well-rounded approach right across each of the college values and of course those being persistence, excellence, community and respect. The students who uh, receive a Principal's Commendation Award today have received numerous school values awards excelling across many areas and although involvement in normal community activities has been severely limited this year we have attempted to take account of students' involvement in activities where possible, some of which occurred in Term 1, and then also many of our students who have been involved in keeping our school community connected through uh, virtual musical performances and our year-level assemblies. Whilst a focus on academic em emphasis is important, um, I have personally seen students over the years who are academically gifted but ill-equipped to succeed to their full potential in the workforce and in their adult relationships. The World Economic Forum's recent jobs outlook has listed the top 10 growth skills, um, areas such as initiative, emotional intelligence, active learning and leadership. Among the top 10 declining skills we need in our future are skills such as management of resources, monitoring of technology and manual labour. The developed world needs leaders, people who are well-rounded and have an ability to influence others and create innovative approaches to complex problems. Last year at presentation night, I spoke about how happiness in the digitally connected world requires people to also be connected face to face so that they can see their impact in the community around them and gain the well-being uh, improvements that is achieved by being together. Little did I know that we would all find out how important that uh, this is as we were isolated from friends and loved ones during the course of the year. Together with our diverse curriculum and extracurricular activities, our values are designed to help develop these skills. Skills that I think have been vital in ensuring that our school community has responded to the challenges that this year has presented. Responded in a way in which we've been able to thrive and see the silver linings in the challenges that we have faced. The following recipients of a Principal's Commendation Award not only exemplify our values, they have responded to the challenges this year in such an outstanding way and are well on their way to living a happy, healthy and fulfilled life. And I would like to call the following students up to the stage to receive their Principal's Commendation Awards. First, we have Jenna Herman. <laughs> Next, Leilani Kimber. Ali Barnard. Claire Boyle. Amara Fennessy. Max Wyman. Hayden Skinner. Maddie Wicks. And last but not least, Casey Smith. Could you please join me in congratulating again all of the recipients from Year 10 of this year's Principal's Commendation Awards.
thank you very much for your participation in today's ceremony. We encourage all students to strive for their own personal best and persist when you are faced with challenges. We encourage all of you to commit to displaying the four college values in whatever you do. Take pride in your work and efforts and make sure you take advantage of all learning opportunities that are given to you. Remember that our college motto is, achieving ex is to achieve excellence together, which we are all very capable of doing. I would now ask Mr. Dew back to stage to formally close the ceremony. Thank you, Ali. Uh, congratulations to all the students who uh, were recognised today for their achievements across the course of the year. Uh, I'd like to extend my uh, congratulations not only to those students but to all of our Year 10 students here and our staff who are present as well. And just let you know how proud I am of the way in which each and every single one of you has responded to this year. Uh, we laid a challenge down to you uh, in that our world has changed. Uh, it's been turned upside down, but it's not going to be long term. But it is over the short to medium term, and particularly for students in years 10, 11 and 12, this means that we face an uncertain economy when we enter the workforce. And I, I keep saying it, and I will continue to say it, is just that each and every single one of you going into your final two years of schooling is that is not the end of your education. Your education must go beyond secondary school uh, for all students, but probably for our current students more than ever so that we can ride out um, any ill effects within the economy over the next few years. And that's regardless of whether you're heading to university, a traineeship or apprenticeship. It's about continuing education well into the future and making sure that each and every single one of you have the skills uh, and the capacity to make sure that you are able to lead that happy, healthy and fulfilled life. Um, so well done on a year, staying connected, um, adapting to the changes that have occurred over the course of the year uh, and um, a big thank you also to our parents and friends of the college who have joined us online uh, in making sure that we have been able to achieve excellence together over the course of the year. Uh, before we wrap up, can you please uh, extend a thank you and congratulations to our two hosts, uh, Claire and Ali. <laughs> Not only uh, have they done a great job in hosting today's assembly, but they may need some sort of trolley to carry out all of the certificates and awards that they received today. So well done, not just today, but over the course of the year. Um, make sure you rest up over the course of the festive season. Um, it's been a challenging year. Each and every single one of you are going into um, what is probably the most important two years of your schooling. Um, make sure you aspire to be the best that you can possibly be over those two years, regardless of your pathway and your course. Um, but given the, the year that we have had, uh, make sure that you rest up and you're able to hit 2021 with immense enthusiasm. Thank you and I will see you all later.